Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're heading up to Loch Lomond, Glencore, Dayton and the Trojans and all the good stuff. See you in a bit. Hi everyone, um, so like the introduction said, we are off up uh, Loch Lomond, Trochets, Glencoe. Um, we've now travelled 170 miles from home. Um, I know we've showed you just a few snippets of the road. Um, we're currently uh, one and a half miles away from the A821. We're heading towards Duke's Pass. Um, we have a parking permit to park up on the Three Lock Drive, um, so we're going to find that, find the entrance to the Three Lock Drive, and then drive through that and get to our park up. So we shall catch you in a few moments. Anyway, we're looking for the Three Lock Forest Drive signs for that. Um, we're going up a hill. Enjoying it, Sonia, being a good boy. Been asleep all the time. <laughs> oh, you've been a good boy, sure. So we're going at the top of Duke's Pass. Oh my God, will it be a good Well, I've just seen a sign there for Three Locks Drive. Pointing this way. Whoop whoop, Look getting the there. So we've just came up Duke's Pass, and this is now the Three Lock Forest Drive. Um, so we have a park and permit area, uh, which is area E, I believe. Um, it does say that it's about a 10 minute drive along here before we get to our place. So we'll just carry on. Um, there is actually a charge to come through here. Which way? Well, the one that says one way. Um, you normally pay at the machine, I think it's three pound. Uh, to drive along. Um, I have a blue badge um, which allows free access. The parking spot that we've got uh, was only £4.20 for the night so hopefully it's quite a nice spot. Uh, first drive Right, so we're now just entering the gates. There's the payment meter there. Do you pay now? No, we've already paid for our thing. Online. But yeah, but we get free entry to this. Okay. Right, so there, these are areas there, camping permit for a C, that one. So 
so on. Right, so we've made it to our park up. Um, we're actually on the Three Lock Forest Drive um, and we paid for a, a night permit so we can stay overnight. The permit was only £4.20 and we've got an amazing spot. Um, you do pay £3 to get into the Forest Drive. Um, I'm exempt from that, having the blue badge, you can get in for free on the Forest Drive. So it's only cost us £4.20 for this pitch. So I'm going to flick you around and let you have a look where we are. That was the, the road that we came in on. The road actually, that, the Forest Drive road actually carries on round all the way around there and then round the far side. Um, the Forest Drive I believe is about seven miles long. Um, and this is our park of spot where we are. There is another two up there at the moment, but I'm sure there's actually only this one park of spot for the night. So he may be leaving. Um, so yeah, absolutely stunning spot. As we go round towards the back of the van, we've got a stunning view out the back. Stunning view of Bracken. Come here, son. Of uh, one of the smaller locks. Bracken. This view is absolutely stunning, and all you need is just the birds. It's so peaceful. So I must admit, it is the perfect park for the night. For £4.20, definitely can't beat that. I think it is seasonal for the, um, around Loch Lomond and the Trojans. I think it's sort of April to October or something like that. Um, and in between them times you don't have to pay. So this is our view for tonight. Just trying, that's it. There's old blind dog, Lucky. Lee in the birds. Yeah, she can hear everything. Absolutely stunning view. Sorry about Bracken's nose and ears in the shot. Is <laughs> any good for you, like Alison? It's beautiful. And hearing all the different birds. It's amazing. And talking about birds, actually, I want to give a big shout out to our mate Keith in Florida. Beefy, thank you. Because Keith actually um, takes bird photos in Florida and he'd been to Merritt Island and he took a stunning picture of a pelican. And I did ask his permission if I could use it because I wanted to paint it because it was so beautiful and he said yeah you go for it so thanks Keith um, the picture turned out great and I will be showing a picture of you <laughs> that's enough <laughs> just waffling <laughs> right, so she's painted, she's painted a lovely picture of a pelican, and I'll try and show it on the end of the video if you're interested. Right, so obviously we're in this partner spot. Um, time for the meal. So tonight I'm going to need some chicken, coriander, cumin, rice, water. Um, perfect because it all comes in one of these pots so i'm just about to put some hot water in and this is my meal for tonight allison's had a cold pasta i'm shattered off to the drive so i'm not cooking i'm having one of these lovely pot rice <laughs> i'll tell you what there's somebody looking nice and comfortable <laughs> yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, look, he's comfy. Oh, Daisy. Where's our Daisy? There she is. Our oh, little lily bob. <laughs> Frog and assume in the position. Yeah. Hey, comfy son. Some birds. Sound lovely. Gordon, so we've just had a, right. a little wander out with the dogs. Um, we're just going to have a, a little pop up and see one of the other campers. So it's absolutely stunning place. Nice night, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. Absolutely stunning. Just show you around again. So that's Lock Drunky down the bottom there. Someone got a tent pitched right on the, the outcrop down the bottom. Mm -hmm. Absolutely stunning. It's a shot from one of the other parking bears. Yeah. Nice. Well, good morning everyone. Um, it's now the second day. Um, absolutely fantastic park up last night. And absolute fantastic sleep. So peaceful, so quiet. All you can hear is just these birds. Absolutely stunning, absolutely fantastic park up, highly recommend it. Um, as I say, you can just log on to the uh, Three Lock Drive. Uh, there's a website where you can uh, buy your permit for the night. You do have to pre book. I don't think you can actually book them on the day. So you do need to. Uh, you know sort of book ahead i'd literally done mine the night before so as i say that was good four pound 20 for a night um there's no facilities at each of the stops but i believe there's some toilets halfway along the drive so i think we're about two mile into the drive and i think the toilets are about three and a half mile into the drive so we'll be checking them out a little bit later um but for now yeah i'm just going to flick you around and let you have a look at what we've got so there was just one more camper up the top, a lovely guy, Colin, and his partner. Uh, went up there and had a bit of chat with him and got some banjo tips. <laughs> so, but it's absolutely stunning. Obviously, another good thing about uh, about this stopover, <laughs> we're blessed with the weather. Um, it's been really, really nice last night. Um, all day yesterday when we were driving up, it was really nice. And it looks like today is going to be another beautiful day. Anyway, enough chatter for now. I'm going to send the drone up and we'll get you some nice shots as well. Eh?
So just a quick one. Um, we had a fantastic night. Um, we're just leaving now. We're going to head up towards a place called Killen. It was recommended by a um, guy that we met last night. So we're heading up there. It's about an hour's drive from here. Um, along the Three Forest Drive, there's actually toilets halfway along. So we thought, champion, might be able to use the facilities. But we've gotten here this morning and the toilets are all backed up and the flush system isn't working on any of them. So we're going to hang tight, literally, until <laughs> we get to Killen and see where we are from there. Um, so we'll show you the route as we're heading along and catch up with you in a little while. three lock forest drive um, we did stop off at some toilets halfway along that was mentioned in the park and permit thing um, they weren't working which was a, a shame but a little bit further along we have actually come across some more toilets and these are working perfectly um, nice and clean obviously the the flush using stream water so obviously it looks like someone's actually been when you first go in but it's actually just the water's tainted um, but toilets and the sinks and there's paper towels in there, there's sanitary, free sanitary products for the ladies. Um, so yeah, I'll change my little review that I've done on the last toilet. These ones are spot on. Um, there is um, mixed toilets and disabled toilets here as well, um, which is really good. Bear with. Alison's bloody alarm. <laughs> So this is uh, Lock Acri, I think it's. Uh, I'm not sure how you say it now. Acri, I think it is. Um, let's just try and flick you around a second so you can have a little look down where I'm seeing. So uh, yeah. Absolutely perfect. All right, Sean. Hey Bratton boy, you went for your mum. <laughs> How are them facilities, Alison? What? How are them facilities? Them facilities were great. So, uh, spot on, yeah. Right, we're ready to crack on. <laughs> <laughs> 